Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So we have a lot to discuss today, we're gonna analyze the DXY CME chart and the spot market as usual. So I think we can start straight here in the one hour time frame. Because Bitcoin yesterday created this rising wedge which currently is breaking out to the downside and my target is still to reach this 10k level potentially even lower to retest also this uh, 200 daily moving average and meanwhile also close the cme gap that we have at nine thousand six hundred dollar so this is still why i'm not in a trade currently i'm still waiting here for a good long entry and also to rebuy some cheap bitcoin once the CME gaps get filled and maybe all the 200 daily moving average is tested because we had now a weekly close yesterday. It's a good and bullish weekly close. We're gonna have to see it later when we get to the weekly time frame. So let's start here with the one hour. Currently the RSI is dropping below the 50 level and we are trading below all the moving averages. So the 20 and 50 right now are lining up here at $10,200. So I think as long as we're staying below these moving averages, the momentum is clearly shifted to the downside, even here in the lower time frames, And we should expect here some more pushes to the downside. So here the one hour is looking once more bearish. If we go over to the CMEs, you can see that currently we also have a future gap here up to $10,600, which you can only see here in the one hour time frame. Also here we have the RSI dropping here into oversold condition. If we have a look and a comparison to the DXY, you can see that currently the DXY is pushing here to the resistance. So we are in a very critical point here. We could see a potential lag to the downside here in the DXY, but so far we are pushing it towards the resistance. And if we are able to break this $93 resistance, I think we could see a huge spike to the upside and at the same time a big drop in the Bitcoin price. Because if the DXY is starting to push here through the resistance, then I think this could be quite dangerous also for the Bitcoin price. So we have to see also what the DXY is going to do here on this $93 resistance. Currently we are trading here above all the moving averages. So the DXY is looking a bit bullish here in the one hour. We are also trading above the 50 level. So this could be a bit dangerous for Bitcoin. And now let's open up here on the Bitcoin price also the Bollinger Band because here as you can see we're trading right at the bottom. So the momentum is still shifted to the downside. We are trading at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. If we have a push to the upside then watch out here for this $10,200 resistance. Here we have the stochastic which currently is oversold and has a bullish cross. So maybe here we could see a potential bounce to the upside. If we have a look into the MACD, MACD is still bearish. We had a bearish cross here. So we have here a bit mixed sentiments. And if we have a look into the KST, this indicator usually is a very good indicator if you're not sure if to go long or short right now. And currently it also gives sell signals right now. So I still think we have some room left to the downside here at least in the lower time frames but uh, we're gonna see a bounce sooner or later in my opinion towards 11k before maybe we're going uh, to close the CME gap and maybe retest it to on the daily moving average it's everything also gonna depend how the DXY is gonna react here in the next couple of hours because here we are in a very critical point and now we can go over to the four hour time frame because here on the Bitcoin price, I still think there is a very high chance that we could see a big bounce to the upside. All the moving averages are above of us and the RSI is still looking here a bit oversold. So here we would have a lot of room left to the upside, at least to retest here the 20 moving average at $10,400, potentially even go high towards the 200 moving average, which currently is at $11,500. So let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, because here everything is still looking quite bearish. We are trading again here in the lower end of the Bollinger Band. And also here, I think we are going to take a decision because the Bollinger Band is again squeezing here between $10,500 and $10,000. So if you're dropping here below 10,000, then make sure that you're ready here for a potential drop towards 9,500 to nine thousand dollar this is my target where i'm gonna open up longs again and also rebuy some cheap bitcoin because that could be really the last time that we see bitcoin so cheap 
And if we open up here the stochastic, you can see that currently here in the four hour we are overbought. So there is still a chance for continuation to the downside. If we have a look into the MACD here, we have a bullish cross. So even though we could see continuation to the downside, the MACD here in the four hour is looking good. So we should be in theory bouncing here pretty soon. And also the KST is looking quite bullish here. So in my opinion, it is very likely that we're going to see a bounce pretty soon. The question is only if first we're going to close the CME gap or not. There is still a high chance that we're going to see a bounce right now at 10K. Go up to retest maybe 11 or 11,500 and then come again down to test maybe the 200 daily moving average. So you just should be prepared for all scenarios but if you anyway want to long if you go with low leverage 5x or 10x you should be doing fine already longing right now ten thousand dollar and uh, we can also open up the cmes here in the four hour because here you can see that we are still quite oversold the rsi and also my indicator is looking quite uh, oversold and we should expect a possible bounce pretty soon at least towards yeah, the 20 moving average or maybe even the 200 up here at eleven thousand four hundred dollars so this is still my expectation that we're going to see potentially very soon a possible bounce to the upside and if we have a look to the dxy you can see that currently also here we are facing this resistance up here cl very close to the 200 moving average here at $93.30. The thing is that if we're getting rejected here, we could see a potential big drop here and a big push on the Bitcoin price to the upside because currently here the four hour is still looking a bit bearish here, in my opinion, looking here at the moving averages. But if you have a look into the RSI, RSI is still looking good. So the question is only if we are able to break through this 200 moving average or not. If we are bringing here the 20 and 50 moving average here above the 200, I think we will see in the next couple of days some more pushes to the upside here on the DXY and the opposite on the Bitcoin price. And that's why we should always compare the DXY to the Bitcoin price. And here in my indicator, it looks like that we are getting here in overbought condition, but we still have some room left to the upside. So the DXY could still push here through this resistance but it's looking like that we could come here to an end and we could expect a possible correction in the dxy and that would take us towards this 9160 so let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours i think we're gonna see some more price action coming in and to make sure that you're able to trade it over on bybit if you want to take these gains when we go up and go down if you need an account on bybit femex or btr where you can trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x use the links that you find down below here to register to those exchanges because with my links you support the channel and also you will get some rewards and currently we are having some extra bonus on bybit for all the people that already signed up with my links and also new people that are signing up with my links down below here so stay tuned here to get the full bonuses that you will get here very soon on bybit and uh, let's go back here into the bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame because here as you can see we are still far away from the 200 moving average this is my target to test here for the bearish scenario that we are going to drop lower than the cme gap so here right at nine thousand one hundred dollar this is where the 200 daily moving average is lining up and also if you have a look here into my own indicator you can see that we are getting here into very oversold condition so as soon as we are getting a buy signal here i will inform you here on youtube and of course also on discord because on discord uh, you will be always updated and also if you're interested and in see my indicator 24 7 yourself you can do that over on discord you have to contact me because a little donation to keep alive the server is needed to have access to my 24 7 stream of my indicator all right and here you can see that the rsi is also cooling off here into oversold condition so here the daily in my opinion is screaming for a bounce to the upside potentially to at least test the 20 or 50 moving average in the daily which are at around eleven thousand dollar and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that also here we are trading right at the bottom and a possible bounce towards the two moving averages, at least towards those, is still in the cards and very likely to come here in the next couple of hours if the DXY is taking a hit. And if you're able to push through 11,000, then maybe even 12,500 is still 
possible. We have stochastic oversold, MACD and KST still shifted to the downside, but I think as soon as we're cooling off here completely, and also I get a buy signal here in my own indicator, we should be good to go to the upside. That's why I'm still a bit concerning here because we still have some room left to the downside. We could still fill first the CME gap and test the 200 daily moving average before we're having a big bounce to the upside and the potential continuation of our bull run. And if we go over to the DXY in the daily, you can see that currently we're fighting with the 20 daily moving average, which previously always acted as a resistance. So in theory, we should see a big fall from here in the DXY, but there is also still a chance that we could break through and maybe test the 50 or 200 moving average also here in the DXY. And that of course would be catastrophe for the stock market and also for the Bitcoin price, but that is possible. And even if the DXY would reach these levels, we would still remain bearish because all the moving averages are shifted to the downside. And since the 20 and 50 daily moving average would remain below the 200, this would be very bearish for the DXY, even though we could reach those levels up here. We still have a lot of room left here to the upside here in the RSI, but as you can see, we are still trading below the 50. So I think as soon as we're going to break through here to the upside, we're going to have a big push in the DXY and a big drop in the Bitcoin price. Because as you can see here, we have a clear bullish divergence in the daily here in the DXY. We have lower lows in the price and higher lows in the RSI. So if this is going to play out, so if here we are going to see a big push to the upside in the DXY, this could end up really bad for the markets. There we may be going to see another big dump in almost all assets. So this is what we have to keep an eye on here, because if the DXY is starting to push it to the upside, then this could lead into a bigger crash, also in the Bitcoin price, so even below $9,000. But let's hope that this is not the case. Let's see if this is going to play out or not. Currently, I still think there is some room left to the upside uh, in the Bitcoin price. So I don't think that the DXY is so strong to push through here. But if so, then watch out for a major crash. And if we have a look into the CMEs here in the Bitcoin price, also here you can see that there is still a high chance that we come down here to at least fill the CME gap and potentially also test the 200 daily moving average before we're gearing up here for a major move to the upside. And now let's go back to the spot market and open up the weekly time frame because here you can see that we had a very bullish close here above the 20 weekly moving average. That is very bullish for the Bitcoin price. And as long as we're closing weekly candles above, we are still on our way to the upside. So this is always a good entry point if you plan to buy Bitcoin. But since I still have some warning signs that we maybe could drop even lower, I think it's not a bad idea to maybe wait to at least fill the CME gap or test the 200 daily moving average before you're re-entering here in the market. The good thing is that the RSI cooled off right now into the 50 level. So this is also why I'm expecting here a possible bounce to the upside. And even if during the week we're gonna trade below the 20 weekly moving average, important is that we're not gonna close a weekly candle below. And if we go over to the CME chart here, you can also see that currently we are perfectly testing this moving average again. And also here, there is a very high chance that we may be weak down to close the CME gap and then continue our bull run. And that's why also we have to keep an eye here in the DXY in the weekly, because if here we're going to see a follow through here, so another push to the upside, potentially also here to test the 20 weekly moving average at $95, because here I got the buy signal in my indicator and on Bitcoin I got the sell signal in the weekly time frame. So if we are seeing this happen, then prepare for a big drop in the Bitcoin price. And that's why you should be prepared for all scenarios. And this is also why I'm still a bit concerned to open up longs right now. But if you're able to manage your trade, so if you don't go in with high leverage, you should be doing find wherever the price is going. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope that I don't scare you too much with this video. I just wanted to give a big warning out because there is some very bullish signs on the DXY, which could lead into a big crash, not only in the Bitcoin price, but also in some altcoins and also in the stock market. This is what we have to consider in our bias. And I know a lot of altcoins are bleeding, but also pumping at the same time as soon as Bitcoin is going a bit higher. 
so at the end of course some of them they will be a good buy for the next bull run but be careful with the altcoins some of them they will of course perform very well they will also stay here for the next couple of years like we had all these ICOs and new coins coming out 2016, 2017. Some of them disappeared, some of them they are still here. So make sure that you know what you're buying when you're buying some altcoins. If you want to buy into the safe bet where you maybe don't gonna realize the biggest gains, but at least you can be sure that in 10 years it's still here, then just go and buy Bitcoin and you should be doing fine. But diversifying into some altcoins, of course, is good, especially when we are dropping like this. You will buy it at a very great discount price. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, moon up the likes, leave me any kind of comments you want. And also feel free to use all the links that you find down below here in the video description. For sure, you can use some of them to get some free cryptos and also to get some rewards. So thank you very much, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.